welcome to unit of technical analysis youtube channel we are studying wd gaunt trading technique and this time we are started with a new topic by the name of uh, this is a book actually uh, wd gaunt on the law of vibration uh, we'll just quickly try to recover few of the points which were there that we studied in the book as especially we try to see that he has interpreted something very important thing and one of them was talking about uh, numbers as especially so uh, he he was very clear uh, that the ancients had written the numbers and letters in very specific way so we'll just try to see few of the things probably from that part we saw something and we try to interpret that by looking more of on data so this was origin of numbers so here we try to identify that uh, the numbers are more of related to the angles which are there every number has an angle uh, for example one has one uh, three has three angles four has four angles seven has one two three four five six seven angles nine has one two three four five six seven eight nine angles zero doesn't have any angles uh, so this was one important aspect that we looked at first and apart from this this is also about alphabet so we saw origin of alphabet and this is how alphabet was been written one important thing that we see is alphabet at times was been written in both the ways i mean like you can write it uh, this is from left to right and this is from right to left so even if you write it from right to left yes probably it will be coming into the same way so this is more of inversion you can say and this is the overall history of how Uh, the english alphabet firstly we are not talking about any other alphabet we are talking about the english alphabet a to z the 26 alphabet and how that was been evolved right so this was the second thing that we discussed and apart from this we also try to find out something related to phonography so he talked about law of vibration is the fundamental law upon which wireless telegraphy wireless telephones and phonographies are based so we try to analyze those parts also what exactly this is and uh, this we were able to interpret that uh, this is more of sinusoidal waves as such specifically and probably because this was one of the ways things which is more of common in all the three parts together so this is what we analyzed and one more important aspect that we just would like to know and think about is if you talk about vibration as such on the vibration so this is what we get according so these are vibrations are nothing but more of cycles that we say and vibrations is more of to do again with sounds of course it is not only sounds but yes if you see yes this is what vibration is about so this is nothing more than just cycles which have been happening right so let's try to go further into the topic but before further going into the topic i'll just like to take you through another one important thing which is that uh, we were taking examples of various things together uh, this was at end of the previous uh, video which was wd gaunt on law of vibration so here we have just shown something and i thought this is very important see because people believe in results rather than what we are just talking about so if you see today on 22nd 2nd of september i beg your pardon for that Uh, that is still first of september uh, if you see yep uh, we have probably drawn something and tried to analyze how things could be there so we thought with this blue line how this market would be evolving and uh, yep the results are there in front of us if you see yes uh, probably the previous flow has been taken off and it started coming down it is now at 2563 and the previous flow was 2551 so in very much similar to the things which are there of course this again comes by the study of wd gaunt and his uh, trading technique so that is how it is and of course there is an effect of uh, the uranus retrograde that we saw about and discussed about last time in this brief so here let's try to go further on to the details part how things have been happening as such quickly so let's try to analyze those things also right so let's go back to the book 
what i'll do is uh, we'll quickly go again through the book more of only talking about few specific important things what i've done is i've marked those with a double star so we'll only think about that jan was a student of cycle that we came to know uh, he used various cycles and it's were not only astronomical so very important jan used a variety of cycles some of this were astronomical so there are various cycles that we need to study and understand we will only focus on the double star mark in making my predictions i use geometry and mathematics so what i've done is whatever has been marked in double star i probably have just written it down right so in making my predictions i use geometry and mathematics this is what has been written down right because see we need to analyze the important things uh, more of the book is talking about information then it gives me knowledge but uh, what i need to extract from that is an understanding about the market right so from information we get knowledge no doubt about that from this knowledge we need to extract understanding about the market and from this understanding we need to go towards implementation so until and unless you implement those things the information and knowledge will be of no uh, meaning right so understanding about the market is the crux that we need to have and then only we will be able to go further on those things right so this was the first thing Yep. Yeah. In uh, I soon began to know the periodic recurrences of the rise and fall in the stocks and commodities. So this was very important as such. I uh, will let you know how this is important. Know the periodic recurrences of rise and fall in the stock. So the page number is seven again, because this is where it actually started. This is what clicked in his mind, just like uh, the falling of Apple. did click something about gravity for newton right so this was a starting point probably he also says that this led me to conclude that natural laws was the basis of market movement right further he says law of vibration enabled me to accurately determine the exact point to which stocks or commodities shall rise and fall within a given time now this is very important for us to understand how things have been happening because at the end of the day we are dealing with the stock market to make profits the more the profit the better it is for us psychological point of view very important so that becomes important so this is law of vibration and we need to accurately determine the exact point to which stocks or commodities should rise and fall within a given time so very important because if we know the rise and fall and where exactly this will be going up to until what time my things should be much more easier for me to work out on right so again this is page number 8 law of vibration rise and fall so we have written down that also so telegraphy this is more of information we need to interpret something from that and the interpretation is this is going to be more of waves so of course waves that we saw in the just few minutes back how this is there Then we go to the next important point. This vibratory forces can only be known by the movement they generate on the stocks and their values in the market. Now this is something which I understand is very important because I'll just read the sentence again. This vibratory forces can only be known by the movements they generate. Now it is not about one movement, but it is about different movements that we need to understand how these movements have been generated. They generate on the stocks. and their values in the market right they talk about two things one is the movement and second is the value now it may happen that okay fine on uh, upside downside either of the sides which is there there would be some movements which have been generated right and we need to understand what are these movements exactly how we will be able to trap this movement and on the basis of this movement would we be able to do or maybe trade in a better way in the market right so let's try to analyze those also So we have written down those things also. These vibratory forces can only be known by the movement they generate on the stock, and this is on page number eleven, right? Because we will we'll try to interpret all this data together from this point, right? Uh, if we go further, everything. I'll first of all read the entire sentence. If we wish to avoid failure in speculation, we must deal with causes, right? So causes is something very important. We need to understand what is the cause and what is going to be the effect. everything in existence is based on exact proportion and perfect relationship right 
Now, this is very clear that he has told this is going to be exact proportions. Proportions. He is not talking about numbers as such. He is talking about proportions. So, we need to understand what exactly he is talking about. How we need to interpret this. Because our interpretation, our understanding about this book uh, would be the crux of uh, maybe our, our success into the market. And perfect relationship. So, he's talking about something which is perfect in terms of relationship. That means it keeps on repeating every now and then. See, now repeating the market is one thing. Understanding that what exactly has been repeating is the second thing that we need to do, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So, everything in existence is based on exact proportion and perfect relationship. So, we are only trying to mark the things which are important for us here the exact proportion and perfect relationship. Go for the next point. Experience methods. Ah, yep. This is something really important. Uh, probably we have studied this previously into the previous chapter, but the given name, uh, the given name gives the vibration setup in the body, right? Everything is based absolutely on geometry and mathematics. Now he makes it very clear over here. Everything is based absolutely on geometry and mathematics. You have got to prove everything in a circle. So what we have is first of all a circle in a square. So we have a square. So inside the circle we have a square or in an angle. So he's talking about in a square or in an angle. So what he means is the square is important and the angle of the square is important, right? We'll interpret this slowly. You have got to know how a pyramid stands in a circle. So we have one point of the pyramid, that is the triangle. We are talking about equilateral triangle over here, right? So one point, second point, third point, right? How a pyramid stands in a circle, a circle to a square and how they all match up, right? I just try to read this again and then we'll interpret that. You have got to prove everything in a circle. So, first and most important thing is a circle, which is 360 degrees. 360 degrees is much more related to the Earth rotating around the Sun. That is the first part. And the Earth's rotation has 365 days, which is just like a circle of 360 degrees in a square or in an angle. So we have seen this previously, square represents the four seasons which have been crossed, right? We also know about the four points which term keeps in terms of equinox and solar sky, right? Understand this, if you are not able to understand any of the parts, my humble request is please go on YouTube. You'll be able to find the previous chapters which are there. Let me just guide you for that. So if you go on YouTube, probably on playlist, in the playlist, you would be finding unit of technical analysis, no, WD Grant Trading Techniques. So if you go on WD Grant Trading Techniques. Hi, my name is Jeff Clark. And tell me about that part. Tell you an update. We have this video which have been put up, right? So these are videos W is on trading techniques. And if you see something, this is the GAN emblem that we are talking about over here. In this video, you will be finding those details which are there. Uh, further, the study of equinox on solar size. So video number 11, 12, and 13. These are more about the equinox on solar size. This talks about the four dates which are there at the corner part. So Humble request is please go through that. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos, this is where you'll be getting them. I will also try to put across a link in this video so that you are able to understand that clearly. Understanding those things are much more easier. And I'll request after that, do come back to this video so that you have a clarity, right? So we talked about a square, which is the Earth's rotation around the sun. In a square, uh, so sorry, a uh, circle. In that circle, we have this square. So this square is representing the four seasons. 
and if we divide that equally we in terms of 365 days or 360 days we have a equal period of 90 days right so 90 days represent every cycle every season which is there so we have cycles of 90 days this is what we interpret from this part or we have a cycle of 120 days which is there from the pyramid the equilateral triangle the cycles of there are 120 days we have already seen in the previous thing my humble request is if you go through the third video wd gaon trading techniques part 3 120 days cycle so here you will be getting interpretations about the exact cycle that we worked out last time and it worked we did trade them the most important part so it is pyramid stands in a circle a circle to a square so it is a circle to a square so from circle we get a square square is about 190 days seasons four seasons and how they all match up so this is how they match up all together and we know this together as a gan emblem which is much more important so circle circle is 360 days square represents 90 days cycle which is for every season and then we have a pyramid or an equilateral triangle which fits into that so you understand when you talk about circle it is a 2d figure not a 3d figure so don't analyze pyramid from a different perspective something like that <coughs> right square and how they all match up so pyramid you can take in both the way because the bottom forms as a pyramid for that part and if you take as a triangle yes this is how it fits into that thing together right so this is something important we have seen this previously oh uh, after that comes very important part which you need to analyze the calculation of based on science number astrology we saw all these things together we are not going to go through those things again and again uh, two important things which are been left out probably uh, important for us to understand analyze how things have been working because these are all clues that have been given right and only thing we need to know is about the clues how they work out so if you are able to analyze those clues things will be much 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 more easier and easier for us to understand and work out on so what is the next clue so we just about to reach end of the book so this are certain charts which have been given this is the periodic table that he is talking about over here so he keeps on telling that okay fine this is all a function of periodic cycle and time so this is talking about one thing is uh the music so music is uh, for us important to understand because of the vibrations and together they create a harmony and with that number 7 because there are seven uh, sounds specially in music and we go to the next important point which probably forms our crux for all these things together because uh, we need to have that tune together with us the most important thing and second number was even in ancient times that was seven so seven is in talking in terms of harmony as such and seven again as i told you this talks about music the pharaoh's writing show his lively interest in the use of numbers for productive purpose and his apparent familiarity the technique is right so yeah. by the kabala of the secret progression it is possible when a series of number is known to determine the next right now probably this forms a very important crux for us i'll read it again by the kabala of the secret progression so this is talking about progression secret progression it is possible when a series of number is known to determine the next now the only thing that i can remember from this part is fibonacci right let's go to fibonacci let's try to understand what is fibonacci and how it occurs right so what is exactly fibonacci and what is the sequence like right so in fibonacci what he is interpreting we will just try to interpret when a series of number is known to determine the next right 
So he is clearly talking about Fibonacci when a series of number is known to determine the next. So what is this next number? We start from zero. When we take the next number, that is one. So when we add zero and one, we get the next number, which is one. When we add one and one, the previous numbers, we get the series two, right? So when we add two and one, we get the number three. From three and two, we get five. Five and three, eight. Thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, to eighty, fifty-five, eighty-nine. All together, this is how it is there, right? So in this numbers which are there, the sequence is been known, and this is what probably Gan has trying to interpret or maybe uh, give us as a solution or maybe a hint at all these things. See, we are trying to take all the things together from the book which is there, right? Uh, so yes, again to the conclusion that we come from this part is more about Fibonacci. So we just maybe probably just close this part and there are various sequences, ratios which are there. So there are certain ratios which are associated with that: 0.236, 0.382, 0.5, 0.618, 0.761, 0 and then we have the extension which is 1.272, 1.618, 2.618, 3.618, 4.618, 3.618. Uh, now a video of this is already been made and put up across in the basic part. So here, if you go into the basic, let me see if I'm able to go back. Okay. Basics of uh, technical analysis. If you go over here. This you'll be finding beginners, the basics of technical analysis for beginners. So we have certain videos which have been put up. So this is the first video for Fibonacci. This is the second video for Fibonacci. So these are two videos which have specially been put down by Fibonacci, for Fibonacci. My humble request is please go through that so that you'll be able to understand uh, the basics information about uh, Fibonacci that we need to understand for interpreting this thing. Right. So this is how the Fibonacci numbers do occur. And if you see in terms of what has been aligned by the Kabbalah of secret progression. So of course, this is a progression. It is possible when a series of number is known to determine the next, right? So this is all we are talking about from the book. We are not talking about anything else specifically, right? I'll try to take a cognizance of one more thing, which is uh, another book, uh, Tunnel Through the Air. The Tunnel Through the Air or Looking Back from 1940 by W.D. Gan. Now, this is the book which has been written by W.D. Gan. Right? We'll quickly go on page 75. I'll tell you why. Because, yep. So, this is page number 75. But it's star marks with, with, because it is important. I'll just read a few of the things which is there from this. In making my predictions, I use geometry and mathematics. We already know that. That in order to know and predict the future of anything, you only have to look up what has happened in the past and create a correct base or starting point. Now, he is talking first of all the thing about is cycles, and the second thing he starts talks about is correct base or starting point. Right. This place is plain that everything works according to past cycle. So we are very much confident about that. Everything happens as per the past cycle. Right? If you have the correct starting point. Now what he talks about over here is, again, he's talking about the law of vibration. The great law of vibration is based on producing like, on like producing like. So if you have right uh, like cause, it will be creating probably like effects also. The phonography and all the things that we have discussed about. Uh, it is just as easy to figure 100 or 1000 years in the future as one or two years ahead. If we have the correct starting point and know the cycle which is going to be repeated. Now, uh, for us, knowing this starting point is very important because he has talked about it not only once but probably year twice. Let's say if he's again repeating that somewhere. How do I forecast future cycles? Now, this is an important question that he has put across. You may ask. In order to forecast future cycles, the most important thing is to begin right. Now, again, he's talking about something, a right beginning, right. Or if we have the right beginning, we will get the right ending. Now, he's talking about the third important thing, which is there over here. First is he talks about cycles. So if we need to understand about cycles, we need to know about the past cycles, which is there. That is the first thing that he talks about. Second thing he says is we need to begin right. For if we have the right beginning, we will get the right ending, right? So if we know the cause of effect, 
then there can be no doubt about predicting the future event or effect right so we have certain aspect from this we have this three important questions to ask to assess ourselves first is repetition of the cycle so we need to know how the cycles have been formed that is the first part and for this again we get a clue which is there from his book which is there uh, he always said that okay he started with few of the things which are there now before that let let's try to just summarize this thing what we had to see from this part he says that okay we should study the past cycle that is the first and important thing second is we need to get a right beginning point right and from this right beginning point we'll get the right ending also uh now <coughs> excuse me guys we know about cycles that is okay but uh, how to interpret these cycles that is the most important thing. where we should be starting and how we need to interpret those things right uh, so for this again we get clues which are there from uh, wa gant's book only right he has very clearly given us how we started interpreting those things right so we'll check for the same things only nothing more than that how was he starting things so how did he start with those things let's try to analyze those things something in the seven eight ah so he says i soon began to note the periodic recurrences of the rise and fall in stocks and commodities right so he doesn't say anything he clearly says only about one thing he only studied about the recurrence of rise and fall in stocks and commodities so let's try to see if you are able to start something with this part right so what we have in our hand is we have something called as fibonacci second is we know about cycles which is there uh, third is we know that we need to find out the right starting point so that we get a right ending point right and we need to start so for starting we need to find the periodic recurrences of rise and fall in stocks and commodities so how we need to do this let's let's go on the chart let's open a fresh chart and try to analyze things which are there so if you are able to analyze this on chart probably things will be easier for us to understand right so i go on a fresh chart i open it up i put down things and probably let's go on the biggest chart which is there because uh, we would then be able to know about those things so what he talks about is i soon began to note the periodic recurrences of the rise and fall in stocks and commodities so this is the rise and the fall so if it is rise and fall uh, probably uh, let's try to do that with the help of the tool which is fibonacci now i'll just try to find out the rise and fall rise and fall that's it so for that we need to use fibonacci and we'll start with fibonacci right so let's say for example i go for this cycle so i need to find out just the rise and fall the rise and fall the rise and fall right so rise starts from here to here so the zero is on the top one is at the bottom let me just reverse that i'll just reverse why because we need to go from not do anything so just as wd gant says periodic recurrences of rise and fall in stocks and commodities so this is what was the starting point as we began to note the periodic recurrences of the rise and fall in stocks and commodities so we'll only do that we'll just note down the rise and fall right so we know about this rise and probably we know about this fall then right so again we'll do the same thing try to find out a rise and fall maybe so here is what is the low and here is what we find the do we have anything after that yes so probably this is the rise so my rise is from 0 to 1 because this is what he told so we will just try to find out those things the rise and the fall nothing more so before this again the rise and fall was probably starting from this point to this point so i'll again do the same thing I just need to reverse that. Right. So again, I have the 
entire rise and then we have the fall right again if i see that for the there was a fall and from here there was a rise i'll do the same thing probably i need to reverse this so that's okay so we need to take zero at the bottom and we got that i'll do one more thing is probably put all the things at the center i didn't do that at the first slide so probably i have to repeat that again so this is my zero this is my one probably just let me take one thing on the back side right so i'm at zero i have my one So oh, this is not my matching zero because if I see the fall has been almost till probably this point. So I missed something, I guess. Uh, let's try to correct that. It goes to the center. Just to understand things in a better way. I marked not much. That's it. We have this reversal. And again, I take this thing at the center. Right? So um, I have this rise, but uh, still, I need to figure out my starting point. So uh, there's still a confusion what exactly this is there because I have marked the rise and falls which are there and uh, I need to figure out a starting point. So how need to I found out the starting point? So uh, yes, let's try to figure out if we are able to get a starting point. So this is the rise and this is the fall. So probably if we need to consider the fall also, let me just take it further. Now I'm connecting the fall also. So if I connect this fall, probably the rise is there and this is the fall. So this fall which I get is at probably a point which is 0 0.236. I'll just mark this over here. So this is my starting point uh, or probably yes, I get a reversal which is at 0 0.236. Let me try to connect something further if I'm able to get certain things again. <coughs> right. So second part is starting from here to here. So this is the rise and this is the fall. So this fall comes down somewhere around to 0 0.5. So one part is 0 0.236. This is the first cycle that I get. And the second cycle that I get over here is 0 0.5. Weird. So we are not getting an exact point, but probably two different ratios. One is 0 0.236, second is 0 0.5. Let's go for the third part also. We go for the third part. Probably starting from 0 to 1. My reversal start point is again coming to 0 0.236. Okay, fine. So first cycle, third cycle, probably we got the points which are there again coming nearer to each other. So we have two ratios, which is the first cycle we saw for 0 0.236. Again, this point is 0 0.236. Again, a kind of repetition, I guess. But here it is different. Uh, this is coming to 0 0.5. Let's try to check for this cycle. So this cycle again, the reversal is coming down somewhere around to 0 0.5, right? That sounds cool. I mean, probably. So if we consider these last four cycles, 
probably we have the first reversal which has come down to 0.236 the second reversal which has come down to 0.5 the third reversal which has come down to 0.5 and the fourth reversal again which has come down to 0.236 so uh, not exactly as such firstly uh, but uh, yep maybe the first point is 0.236 the last point is 0.36 the fourth point not the last point the second point is 0.5 the third point is 0.5 so we have an average which is been coming out that okay either the reversal is coming to 0.236 at two points or to 0.5 right so we probably have to back test this on previous cycles and see if we are getting something in a similar way so if this is my high low am i getting something on a clearer side yes again the reversal is coming somewhere around to 0.236 level this is double bottom so yep probably something really is working out in that way if you consider this smaller cycle from this high to this low again my reversal is coming somewhere around nearer to right i and low i just probably try to just reduce or reverse the level this is reversal so if i consider this as the low and this as the high again my reversal is coming to 0.236 well works out well i guess repetition of cycle that we are seeing over here so low high and a reversal which is coming to yep probably i just need to reverse this cycle also probably i've just drawn that in a different way the reversal point comes down to the same thing so low high reversal 0.236 low high reversal 0.236 here let me check out if it's working so my low my high my reversal 0.5 oh wow wonderful i mean probably we are getting some repetitions of cycles over here so if we just check out with the past four cycles clearly together so in that i am getting repetitions of cycles coming at 0.236 level 0.236 level 0 0.5 0.5 right so we have two things which have been installed from the three parts this is the cycles and the start point and from this start point i am also able to see if i am able to get an end point so i'll consider the extension for that so this is my cycle this is my reversal so for this reversal i should be getting an end point on this cycle so this should be going either to 1.236 or this should be going to 1.618 so this over here if i see matching those things yes it does come down to those part of 1.618 <clears throat> so yes pretty cool let's go for the second cycle so this is my zero this is my one this is the reversal so this i consider as my start point and again check i for 1.272 1.618 and do i have something similar to that to end on with wow probably this is again ending at the same point 1.618 let's go for the next cycle next cycle probably let me add something so i have this low let me remove this <clears throat> so i have this low i have this high i have this reversal which is there and my high point goes to cool fair enough so i probably am able to get some sense going these things together i have my cycle i get my right start point <clears throat> from this right start point i get my end point i have this second cycle i have my right start point from this right starting point i have my right end point because this is where the cycle ends the next bull cycle i again have my cycle i have my right start point and i get my right end point probably if i consider this as my end it coming to the fibonacci level which is there so probably we need to have a mix of all these things together and this is how we are able to interpret the things maybe i'm not 100% sure whether this is there but probably yep showing some similar kind of things where we have seen 
when a series of number is known to determine the next so this is talking about fibonacci second is we saw the gan emblem which is there so probably you need to see this more often details how this has been done or probably we have already seen those things previously everything in existence is based on exact proportions and perfect relationships so if we see yes probably we are seeing the proportions over here so we are seeing the proportions which are there in terms of fibonacci we are not talking about any other tool because this tool has been adopted for what is been told by wd gone on the book uh, wd gone on law of vibration so we see again the same thing the proportions which are there so probably the proportions are also been matching 01 0 0.236 0 0.1 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.1 0.236 so the proportions are again been matching right this vibratory forces can only be known by the moment they generate on the stocks and their values in the market right so we have something maybe high then a reversal and then the force which goes upwards so here we have a force which has been coming into probably picture and this force is then taking it further so if we have something which is similar to this part before anyone is knowing about this part we have the end also right so this is what we interpret this vibration force can only be known by the moment they generate on the stock and their values in the market so this is again very much true probably we are able to understand that the law of vibration enables me to accurately de determine the exact point to which stocks or commodities should rise and fall within a given time so probably knowing about this point i am able to know where exactly this should be coming back so as we know that okay fine if we have this cycle i know where exactly this should be coming down to this should be either coming down to 0.5 or this will be coming down to 0.236 so we know again probably at what what point it should be coming back and from here where it will be going to right so next point from here is note the periodic recurrences of the rise and falls in stocks and commodities yes we saw that the recurrence which is there and probably a bull and bear cycle together comes down to almost let's say this is 2004 so from 2004 this is to 2008 So that is four years, 2008 to 2012. Again, four years, 2012 to 2016. Again, four years, 2016 to again 2020. So probably four year cycle, which is currently what we are looking at, and probably recurrence over a period of time. To note the periodic recurrences of the rise and fall in stocks and commodities. So again, we are getting some recurrences, recurrence in the market. In making my predictions, I use geometry and mathematics. So geometry we saw in terms of Fibonacci, mathematics in terms of numbers. So whatever we saw in the book till now, probably all the things are coming into the picture. So probably I'll request or probably stop the video at this stage and let's try to see continue further if you are able to get uh, more upon things. Uh, and one more request is uh, humble request is we have this channel, YouTube channel. by the name of wd gan trading technique so humble request is if you can just subscribe to this channel unit of technical analysis for trading uh, you'll be finding videos which are related not only to wd gan but rest of the things also and one more thing is we have a channel which is there on telegram by the same name which is unit of technical analysis our request is you can just subscribe to the channel so that you can get the latest updates also okay thank you so much